Welcome dear students. So today we will be learning about the properties of definite integrals. Right. So the properties starting from P0 to P7 is on the screen right now. So you may open your copy, note them down so that it becomes easy for you to refer to the properties while doing the sums. Okay. So you may pause the video and do the needful. Let's see the first question. Okay. So prove the following definite integrals using properties. Okay. So I have noted down the properties here as well for your reference. Okay. So whenever this kind of question is there, first thing that you need to observe is the property. Okay. In, and in property, what you are going to observe is you are going to observe the lower limit and the upper limit. Okay. So I see that here the lower limit is 0. Okay. And let's see whether we have 0 anywhere in the property. Yes. So I see that in P4, P5 and P6, I see that the lower limit is 0. Okay. And one thing I want to mention here is most often you will be making use of this particular property. Okay. In exams also we find that P4 is being used many times. Okay. So let's see whether we'll be able to use P4 or not. Let's see. Okay. So let me erase this part. So what will I do is see here carefully, see and observe here. Okay. So let me call this to be integral i. Okay. So let i be the integral from 0 to pi cos to the power 5x dx. Okay. Now, see, if you compare this with p4, p4, then this 0 is 0. That's okay. Upper limit is a. Okay. So here upper limit is pi, isn't it? And this is my fx, isn't it? So this is my fx. Kindly observe this. This is my a. This is my fx. Okay. Now, what we need to do here is this can be written as using P4. Okay, so the right hand side, in the right hand side, the limit won't change. So, it will remain as it is. So, 0 to pi. Now, in place of fx, okay, in place of fx, you have f of a minus x, right? So, if fx is this much, then f of a minus x means what? It means that in place of x, just write a minus x. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. So we have cos to the power 5 x, but in place of x, I need to write a minus x. That is a is pi. So pi minus x should be written. Okay, and we have dx. Is this clear? So this was done using p4. Okay, right. So let me erase this part because this is not necessary. This, this was just for the explanation sake. Right, so... I got my, uh, I used my P4 and I got this. Okay. Now, all of you must know that cos pi minus theta is minus cos theta. Okay. So, these are the formula from your class 11 trigonometry. Okay. So, that means, can I write this as 0 to pi? So, we have cos pi minus theta it will be minus cos theta. And the power is 5, remember? Okay. So, we have this becomes 0 to pi minus to the power 5 is minus. And that minus, in fact, can be kept outside the integral sign. Okay. And you get cos to the power 5x dx. Okay. Let me repeat once again. Minus to the power 5 becomes minus. So, cos to the power 5 is cos to the power 5x. Now, look at this integral only. Isn't this the integral that we wanted to evaluate? Yes. So, in place of this, can I write i? Obviously, yes, right? So, I'll write i here. So, let me bring this, see, basically, what is this? i is equals to minus i, right? So, bring this i here. So, you get i plus i, which is 2i. And what is left here? Only 0 is left. So, it means that 2i is equals to 0 means what? It means that i is 0. That is, what is i actually? i is integral 0 to pi cos to the power 5x dx, right? And this is equals to this i, that is this one is equals to 0, right? 
that's what we need to show here right pause the video and note down your solution let's observe this question now uh, so let me first take this to be equals to i okay so let i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 we have sine x minus cos x divided by sin x plus cos x dx okay so this is my integral i okay now <clears throat> what will i do here is see again let's apply zero uh, p4 okay so because my lower limit is zero so if i apply p4 you know in place of x you need to write a minus x and here what is a a is pi by 2 please remember we have fx and uh, see okay if you apply p4 the limit won't change in the integral so it will remain 0 to pi by 2 only okay but in place of x in place of x you need to write in place of x you need to write a minus x yes or no so that's why this becomes sine in place of x substitute by a minus x but in place of x a we have pi by 2 so it becomes pi by 2 minus x minus cos this x can be written as pi by 2 minus x divided by similarly this becomes sine pi by 2 minus x plus cos pi by 2 minus x and we have dx okay right so you know this is 0 to pi by 2 now sine 90 minus theta is cos theta right that is cos x minus here we have cos 90 minus theta becomes sine theta that is sine x similarly in the denominator you get cos x plus this becomes this becomes sine x and we have dx right okay now from the numerator from the numerator if i take minus common okay if i take minus common that minus can be kept outside integral sign okay so this becomes numerator becomes sin x minus cos x and the denominator see this the de denominator can be written as sin x plus cos x dx all right now observe this carefully we have this integral and this integral same right that means in place of this can i write i obviously that yes so we have minus i okay so this means this means that when you take this i over there it was i equals to minus i so when you take minus i over here you get 2i equals to 0 right now you know if 2i is equals to 0 then i also will be equals to 0 and what is i actually i is this integral right so in place of this in place of i i'll write the integral which is 0 to pi by 2 sin x minus cos x divided by sin x plus cos x dx okay so this is integral i and this is equals to how much zero okay so that's what we need to prove right so you may pause the video and note down your solution now let's observe this question so we have uh, let me take this integral okay so let i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus tan x dx okay so as usual i will make use of p4 okay so in p4 the limit won't change right so it will remain 0 to pi by 4 so wherever we have x wherever we have x we will substitute it by a minus x so we have 1 plus log x i'm sorry 1 plus tan we have so tan in place of x we'll write a minus x and a is pi by 4 so we have pi by 4 minus x dx okay so this is using p4 okay so uh, I haven't uh, written uh, this in the earlier problem kindly write that also okay now all of you know 
or even if you don't know then you can refer to your class 11 trigonometry formula the value of tan pi by 4 minus x is 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x so this is the formula you can kindly refer to the class 11 formula okay so this is equal to okay so let's simplify whatever we have within the bracket so 0 to pi by 4 log so you see this will be okay so 1 plus tan x plus 1 minus tan x divided by you have 1 plus tan x so this is what you get when you simplify uh, within the bracket okay and we see few things are getting cancelled so this and this gets cancelled right so from here okay so i don't need this anymore for now because i won't have space so let me remove this so we have see here carefully so this can be written as 0 to pi by 4 log so we have 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 by 1 plus tan x dx right and all of you know log a by b is how much it is log a by b i'm sorry log a by b is log a minus log b so this becomes 0 to pi by 4 log a minus log b that is denominated is 1 plus tan x dx right okay now let me uh, okay let me do the rest of the work here so we have this is equal to okay so you will continue from here only so can i write this as 0 to pi by 4 log 2 dx minus integral from 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus tan x dx can i do that obviously yes okay so here log 2 is a constant take it outside so you get log 2 integral from 0 to pi by 4 dx now observe this integral isn't this the very same integral right that is i this was equals to i so that's why in place of this i'll write minus i okay so that means see i is equals to log 2 integral 0 to pi by 4 dx minus i so bring this i over here you get i plus i which is 2i so 2i is equals to log 2 integral 0 to pi by 4 dx okay right so let me keep only i here so it becomes half log 2 okay now we know integral dx is just x so lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi by 4 okay now let's put the value so it becomes half log pi by 4 as so a log 2 pi by 4 minus 0 so pi by 4 minus 0 is just pi by 4 so pi by 4 into half becomes pi by 8 and we have log 2 right and that's what we wanted to show all right so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's see this particular problem so here also i'll be using p4 right okay so that's why let me uh erase this one for you i don't need this anymore okay so let me take so let i is equals to this integral so 0 to pi by 2 root over sin x by root over sin x plus root over cos x dx okay so as usual to apply my p4 you have uh, the limits as it is so in place of x what will i write is i'll write a minus x but in place of a we have pi by 2 so that's why this becomes sine pi by 2 minus x divided by in the denominator we will get root over sine pi by 2 minus x plus root over cos pi by 2 minus x okay and we have dx okay so this was using p4 okay now what will i do is i'll just apply formula sine 90 minus theta is cos theta 
so 0 to pi by 4 okay so by the way let me call this to be equation number 1 okay let me call this to be equation number 1 now here we have root over in the denominator in the numerator it becomes sin 90 minus theta is cos theta in the denominator it becomes root over this is cos x plus root over sin x right and we have dx and let's rearrange this so this is actually i is equals to 0 to pi by 4 i'm sorry pi by 2 i'm sorry i was making a mistake out here so this will be pi by 2 right pi by 2 so we have 0 to pi by 2 pi by 2 that is pi by 2 okay so let me write this as root over cos x denominator let me rearrange so let me write this as root over sin x plus root over cos x itself cos x dx okay and let me call this to be equation number 2 okay let me call this to be equation number 2 now what will I do is see here carefully I am going to add 1 and 2 okay so if I add 1 and 2 so let's see what we get so in the left hand side we have i in the left hand side we have i so i plus i becomes 2i is equals to so we have got two integrals 0 to pi by 2 we have first one is this one root over sin x sin x by root over sin x plus cos root over cos x dx plus we have another integral from second one is it is 0 to pi by 2 root over cos x plus root over sin x plus root over cos x dx okay now if you observe here carefully see this is my 2i all of you know that this is my 2i now if you observe here carefully if you observe here carefully in the right hand side both see limit, limits are same right so if the limits are same i will be able to combine both the integrals so if i combine both the integrals so it becomes this plus this isn't it so this plus this becomes okay so this plus this if you add them you get root over sin x plus root over cos x by okay just wait a minute root over cos x by root over sin x plus root over cos x so that's what you get isn't it now all of you see this and this being same they will get cancelled so we have 2i is equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 only dx is left right now all of you know this is how much so we have 2i is equals to so this is x from 0 to pi by 2 and uh, the value of this will be exactly pi by 2 yes so because pi by 2 minus 0 is pi by 2 so therefore from here i will be equals to okay so let me write therefore here so therefore your i will be equals to so bring this 2 to the denominator it becomes pi by 4 yes that is that is in place of this integral you write down this because this is i right so that is this is equals to pi by 4 that's what you write okay so with this we got our answer right pause the video and note down your solution let's have the last question and in this also i will be using p4 okay see i told you in the beginning that p4 is the uh, property which is used most extensively okay right so here also i'll be using p4 so for that let me take the integral let i be equals to the integral 0 to pi by 2 x sin x cos x by sine to the power 4x plus cos to the power 4x dx so this is the integral given to us okay now if you apply p4 so this becomes see here carefully 0 to pi by 2 so this x becomes pi by 2 minus x 
in place of x we ne, we write a minus x and in place of a we have pi by 2 right so pi by 2 minus x sin pi by 2 minus x cos pi by 2 minus x okay divided by in the denominator also we have sin to the power 4 in place of x we will write pi by 2 minus x plus cos to the power 4 pi by 2 minus x and we have dx here okay now all of you know so this is 0 to pi by 2 so we cannot do anything with pi by 2 minus x we will keep it as it is so pi by 2 minus x okay so we have pi by 2 minus x here and we have sine 90 minus theta is cos theta this becomes sine theta that is sine x divided by divided by we have okay so we have sine to the power 4 90 minus theta becomes cos to the power 4 x and similarly this becomes sine to the power 4 x dx okay by the use so just write using p4 okay fine now let me open this integral okay so we can write this as see take this pi by 2 outside because this is a common only pi by 2 then it becomes 0 to pi by 2 so this pi by 2 goes means we have now cos x sin x or you can write this just sin x cos x by cos to the power 4 x plus or just write this as sin to the power 4 x sin to the power 4 x plus cos to the power 4 x dx we have minus so minus integral 0 to pi by 2 now you cannot take x outside because x is a variable so numerator becomes x sin x cos x divided by we have in the denominator sin to the power 4 x plus cos to the power 4 x dx right okay now here if you observe this this is the integral that i want to evaluate right so that means in place of this i can write i so what will i do here is i'll do small manipulation here okay so the manipulation that i'm going to do here is let me write this as sin x cos x itself in the numerator in the denominator okay so in the denominator we have sine to the power 4x right so this can be written as uh, sin square x whole square and you know this also can be written as cos square x whole square but cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x so this is cos square x but we are here we have to the power 4 so that's why we'll put square okay and here we have dx and all of you know this is i okay so i don't have space here you may pause the video and note down till here okay so observe this so we got this as of now so what will i do is i'll bring this i over there in the left hand side so it becomes 2i so 2i is equals to we have this integral right that is pi by 2 pi by 2 or else you do one thing you might get confused out here so you do one thing so here you just write cos square x only for now in the next step we'll do that so you just write cos square x so we have pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 by the way 0 to pi by 2 pi by 2 we have sin x cos x so you just write dx also here only divided by so now you will write sine square x whole square now you write this as 1 minus sine square x whole square okay why am i doing that because i am going to apply now integration by substitution so basically i am going to substitute here okay so the substitution that i am going to make is let the sine square x sine square x is equals to t okay so if you do that so after differentiation so if you differentiate this this becomes 2 sin x cos x dx equals to dt so that's what you get 
but I want sin x cos x dx only. So let me take this 2 over there. This becomes sin x cos x dx equals to dt by 2. Okay. So let's go back to our work. So we have therefore, okay, one more thing. See, this is a definite integral, right? So if you are changing x into t, we need to change the limits also, right? So let's change the limit also. So when, so this is the value of x. So when x is equals to 0, then, so you are changing into t. So t becomes sine square 0 because x is 0. Sine square 0 is always 0, right? Now, when x is equals to upper limit is pi by 2, right? So pi by 2, then t will be sine square pi by 2. Now you know sine 90 is 1. So 1 square becomes 1. Okay, so I have changed the limit also. So therefore, your 2i, okay, so this becomes 2i equals to pi by 2. So change of limit. So 0 to 1. Now it is 0 to 1. So 0 to 1. So sine x cos x dx is dt by 2, right? So it is dt by 2 divided by sine square x. So sine square x is t. So this becomes t square plus 1 minus sine square x is t. Sine square x is t. Here we have whole square also. Okay. So this means that 2i is equals to pi by 2. So this means that pi by 2. Okay. So if you open this integral or a denominator, Okay, so we have dt by 2, right? So take this 1 by 2 outside. So just write dt in the numerator. So in the denominator, if you observe in the denominator, we have t square plus 1 minus t square. Now if you simplify this, apply a minus b whole square formula, you will get this to be 2t square minus 2t plus 1. Kindly verify. Okay, so if you observe this integral, we have already done this kind of integral. Okay, where you have to express, see, since this is quadratic in the denominator, you have to express this denominator as the sum or difference of two perfect squares, right? So that's what we are going to do here. So till then, you may pause the video and note down till here. Okay, so we have okay observe here carefully uh, so this is 2i equals to let me write it so this is pi by 4 integral 0 to 1 dt by 2t square minus 2t plus 1 so that's what we have okay now if you observe here so we have we have 2t square minus 2t plus 1 so first and foremost, uh, I told you that the coefficient of t square must be 1. So that's why I'll take 2 common. So it becomes t square minus t plus half. Okay. So now let's express this inner one as the sum or difference of two perfect square. So this is a square minus 2 a is t. Now you have to choose b in such a way, b in such a way that you get t here. Obviously the b will be half because 2 and 2 gets cancelled and on ultimately you get only t. So a square minus 2 a b. Now you must write b square right. So it is b square. Okay. Now we have half here. Okay. We have half here. But see you have written this extra right. That is what is this actually. This is 1 by 4. So in order to nullify this I will put minus 1 by 4 here. Is that clear? Okay. Now all of you know this much is, this much part is how much? This much is a minus b whole square, which is equals to a minus b, b is half whole square plus how much is this? Half minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4, right? So this 1 by 4, see I told you this is how much? This much is 1 by 4, okay? At this 1 by 4 can be written as 1 by 2 
all square isn't it so that's why therefore again therefore your 2i becomes so therefore your 2i becomes so already we have pi by 4 okay so integral is from 0 to 1 so dt by okay so in place of this can i write this yes so we have 2 into this entire thing t minus half whole square plus half whole square okay so that's what we get now again i see that this 2 can be kept outside so this becomes pi by 8 2 into 4 into 2 is 8 so it becomes 0 to 1 dt by t minus half whole square plus half whole square okay now if you observe here we have got this integral with us okay so in this integral okay so we have 2i equals 2 okay so if you observe this this is in the form of integral integral dx by x square plus a square which is equals to 1 by a tan inverse x by a so this is the formula okay so if i use this formula here let's see what do we get so we have pi by 8 okay we have pi by 8 so we have let me write okay let me not write the integral because we will be writing our answer so it becomes 1 by a a is how much a is half so 1 by half okay we have tan inverse x in place of x we have t minus half by a a is again half are you able to understand 1 by a tan inverse x by a in place of x we have t minus half okay and since we have we have got upper limit and lower limit we will put the limits as well here okay is that clear okay now let's simplify this further so we have 2i equals to pi by okay so this becomes pi by 8 into this becomes 2 okay so again if you see here this can be written as tan inverse so this 2 goes up and becomes t minus half okay now let's put the value of the upper limit and lower limit okay so here what you can do is see 2 and 2 you can cancel here itself ultimately i want to find the value of i isn't it so this becomes therefore this becomes i equals to so we have pi by 8 now let's put the value of the limit so becomes tan inverse 2 into so upper limit is 1 so 1 minus half minus tan inverse so 2 into 0 minus half 0 minus half okay so this is equals to pi by 8 so this is tan inverse 2 into this is 1 minus half is half minus tan inverse so this becomes 2 into 2 into minus half okay so this and this gets cancelled similarly this and this gets cancelled so this becomes pi by 8 so tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse minus 1 okay one more formula for from inverse trigonometric function this time tan inverse minus x is equals to minus tan inverse x okay so if i apply this this formula here it becomes see here carefully it becomes pi by 8 tan inverse 1 so this minus okay so this minus comes outside so minus into minus becomes plus tan inverse 1 okay so how much is this this is equals to see this is the value of i please remember okay so this becomes equals to pi by 8 okay so this is the value of i remember i equals to pi by 8 into this is 2 tan inverse 1 isn't it so 2 and this gets cancelled pi by 4 okay so i equals to pi by 4 we have tan inverse 1 now all of you know 
that the value of tan will be 1 if the uh, value of theta is 45 degree which is pi by 4 right. So, that is why the value of this is how much pi by 4. So, it becomes pi by 4. So, this is equal to how much this is pi square by 4 uh, 16 is not it and that is what we wanted to show in fact right. So, therefore, the integral i ok that is integral i is 0 to pi by 2 x sin x cos x divided by cos sin to the power 4 x plus cos to the power 4 x dx ok. So, this is your integral i which is equals to how much it turns out to be pi square by 16 and that is what I wanted to show here ok. So, today we will do only this much with this we close for the day. Thank you very much.